Hi, in this video, I want us to learn a little bit more about comparison operators and logical operators. We have used them without knowing what they really are, and I want to introduce you to them. So let's go ahead and let's open our co-editor. I think it's a lot easier for me to show you visually what they are. So let's grab the blank.php and let's do a save as and call this comparison operators even though I'm going to show you two kinds the logical ones and the ones that we use for comparison as a matter of fact I just made a page here that was useless let's do another save as I'm gonna call this comparison because we need to add the PHP to the end of the page if not this does not work comparison operators that PHP there we go and I'm just gonna delete this all right let's go back to that file all right so let's open our PHP tags here and of course I need to include that okay what are comparison operators all right so I already did a little bit of HTML here that I want you to have in your exercise files and you will have this file it's gonna be called comparison operators of course I'm gonna uncomment this so you can see it on the browser so I'm going I'm going to explain it to you right now so these are comparison operators All right we have the equal we have the identical right so we will say if something is equal to or identical to we will compare it for example we say this is greater than less than greater than or equal than less than or uh, equal to or less than or greater than right this is not with exclamation not equal to and this is not identical all right we already use this here we have not used any of the other ones so I just want to show you a couple here so now now that we have that let me show you the logical operators real quick before I show you the example all right so let's just take this comment out of here let's come back here and refresh well we don't need to refresh with brackets all right so the logical operators are very simple we use the end this is to compare two conditions and I'll touch on that right now and the or I'm gonna show you that with an if statement and the not all right so let's go ahead let's jump into the code and show you how they work first let's start with the comparison operators you're gonna use them in loops you're gonna use them in many different parts of your code let's go ahead and comment all this because I want my PHP to be on the top line there all right actually I'm gonna go all the way down there so that way we don't have that there we go remember that space really doesn't matter in PHP all right some programming languages might complain but this PHP does not so let's write an if statement all right now that we know how to write an if statement and let's compare something let's compare two numbers very simple if 4 is less than 4 I want you to echo this out it is true all right very simple so let's go to the browser refresh it's not going to execute because 4 is not less than 4 what about if 4 is less than or equal than 4 now it's executing because it is equal than also right so what about if 4 is the same is equal to 4 this execute it is equal to 4 right what about if it's bigger no if it's smaller no what about if it's not equal to of course it's not executing because it is equal to right but if I change this to 5 then now we know that 4 is not equal to 5 right now what about the identical 
is saying right now four right here it is identical four and four is identical but what about when I put it I make it around a string now it's telling me it's not identical. Why? Because this is a data type of string, tets, and this is a number, an integer. So they're not identical. Right here they are the same. PHP looks at it and says, okay, you have a string here with a 4 inside. That's cool. That's the same. But if I say identical, PHP says, no, 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 no. This is not identical because this is a string and this is a number. All right? So always keep that in mind. Now, let's talk about the logical operators. So right now, this is not executing because it's not identical. Let's have a different opinion right here. Let's have a different choice. Or, so we can test with the, with these two lines here. It's, it means or. So if 4 is identical to 4 or 5 is less than 10, execute. All right, so if this doesn't execute, this or keyword keyword here, well, it's not here, but you see it with the symbol. It's saying if this does not work, then we can try this one out, because it says if four is not identical to four or five is is less than ten, then execute this. Now, the end is a different animal. The end is like this. Now, both of these conditions have to, have to be true in order for this to execute. The 4 has to be identical to 4, and the 5 has to be less than 10 to execute. So if I make this like this, 4, now it's executing right now. Because 4 is identical to 4, and 5 less than 10. So the, both of these conditions are true. We execute the code in, right in between there. All right? So keep that in mind. That's the way you write it down. And I'm going to leave these files here for you in the course exercise file. So that way you can have kind of a reference here where to come back and check this out. All right. I'm going to probably write out a couple more if statements below just to show you the other examples that we did. And, um, well, we're done here. So hopefully you were able to learn a lot on this lesson here. And if for some reason something did not, you didn't understand there 100%, don't worry. We're going to be practicing this in a little application that we made uh, for this course. And it's going to be fun, all right? So take care, and I'll see you in the next le lesson. Bye.